What's up guys, Sean from Street Dev. Welcome to a new video. And today's video comparison will be between two 2019 full frame cameras. One, the Canon EOS RP, a 26.2 megapixels entry level full frame camera. And the other is the Nikon Z6, a 24.5 megapixels mid-level 2019 camera as well. And this challenge, they both will be using the 35mm f1.8 lenses on their respective cameras, the RF versus the Z lens. So let's firstly talk about the Nikon Z6. Basically, besides this is only a 24.5 megapixel camera, in terms of the hardware beats the Canon EOS RP in every single way. It has a higher resolution EVF at 3.8 million dots. It has a higher resolution touch enable LCD screen as well. It has better battery life, a backside illuminated CMOS sensor, and is also using the XSpeed 6 processor. So really, really good, fast, all-rounded camera in terms of video specs as well it can shoot 4k 30 frames per second 1080p 120 frames per second and if you're going to use external recording you can get 10 bit and analog out of this camera so really really good camera well worth the money body plus this lens about now would cost about three thousand us dollars so right now i'm going to swap over to the nikon z6 and then we're going to talk about the canon eos rp okay, so let's talk about the canon eos rp this right now like i mentioned is the cheapest full frame camera in the market right now coming in body only less than a thousand us dollars this is even cheaper than the sony a7 ii and the Canon 6D Mark II at the moment. I think this started dropping ever since the launch of the Canon R5 and the R6. And this is using the 35 millimeters f1.8 RF lens. Uh, it's a really cheap lens. It's basically the cheapest RF lens uh, among all their RF range lenses. So it is really light. You can feel that it's a bit plasticky, but it is really light, not, not weather sealed. And the main thing that annoyed me when I got this lens, when I put it onto this camera for the first time, I didn't take off the uh, lens cap yet. And this is what happened. Yep, so it kept hunting and hunting non-stop. It was like oh, focusing and focusing like crazy. Initially, I was like, oh no, I've just wasted my money. This is a really bad lens that I just bought. But after using it, or even when you press the record button to start videoing, it does become silent and it stops doing that hunting thing. That hunting non-stop only happens if let's say you're not uh, filming anything you just like take a video or take a picture and then you start walking around so the camera is moving as you're walking around in your hand it will start non-stop going in and out of focus and it basically protrudes out by about one inch so that's pretty annoying but overall video picture qualities are fine uh, when you press the video record button to start recording your videos the autofocusing becomes silent and really nice as you saw in the previous clip it was actually pretty nice so this is a 26.2 megapixels camera entry level of course uh, not much things to talk about but i think the edge that it has over the nikon z6 is that this has an articulating screen which is of course more convenient in so many ways and also in video mode they have eye detection so the nikon z6 in video mode only has face detection in normal taking photographs then the nikon z6 has the eye and the face detection autofocus so this, this is the lightest camera one of the lightest full frame cameras in the market uh, pretty nice ergonomics with this lens unfortunately it is pretty light i like my cameras to be a little bit weighty so previously when i was using the 24 to 105 millimeters that felt really good in, in the hand this lens has OIS and this body has EIS whereas the Nikon Z6 the 35 Z mount lens does not have any OIS 
but the body on the Nikon Z6 has 5-axis in body stabilization so it'll be a good comparison between these two so today's video what I'm gonna do is something different I'm gonna show you the two photographs picture A and picture B and then I'll show you video A and video B and then you choose which one you think is the Canon ESRP and which one you think is the Nikon Z6 and then at the end of the video then I'll tell you whether picture A is the Canon EOS RP or the Nikon Z6 and whether picture B is the Canon EOS RP or the Nikon Z6 then in conclusion I will tell you which one I prefer at the same time and then we'll go from there so let's take a look at the two pictures and videos right now your silhouette on the horizon you keep your feet up off the ground I don't know if you've been hiding yeah, I can't believe just what I found Like the water you can crash into me Until you're all that I have left Like the wind I'll let you breathe into me Until you've taken every breath But to you I feel alright tonight Will you stop me if I can't restrain? Yeah, I can't be alright tonight All right guys, so were you able to tell the difference between the two? I'm gonna leave a poll right up here and give me your answer. Did you think that picture A and video A's were from the Canon EOS RP or the Nikon Z6 and picture B and video B, was it the Canon EOS RP and the Nikon Z6? So quickly hit the poll, I wanna see what most of y'all guys have chosen before I give you the answer. So five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay guys, so 
picture A and video A, basically the answer is the Nikon Z6. So how many of you got it right? And uh, of course, picture B would be the Canon EOS RP. Basically, I did do a breakdown of the scores on what I choose at the end of the day. So basically here's my scores. I'm gonna show you on the screen right now. Okay, so in terms of day pictures, uh, colors and skin color reproduction, definitely the Z6 takes the cake for this one. Uh, in the videos where I do manually uh, color correct the pictures, they can come out looking pretty nice, uh, but it does uh, take a lot of work because the pictures and the videos on the Canon EOS RP, uh, they always come out slightly darker than uh, the Z6. The Z6 with their backside illuminated sensor gives a really nice bright color reproduction, brightness reproduction as well. So uh, for colors and skin color, the Z6 takes it. Uh, for sharpness, this is uh, pretty uh, well matched between the two. I took like some close-up shots and like even in the first picture, uh, the details were all really nice and clear. So for sharpness, I gave it a draw. Uh, in terms of dynamic range, like I said, definitely Z6 wins this one as well. Uh, for bokeh in the pictures, I think they're pretty similar. So I gave that a draw as well. So now we come to day videos. So day videos, for colors and skin color reproduction, the Z6 takes the cake for that one. The, the RP, as you saw, for the skin colors, uh, video B, I don't know if you want to go back and look at it. It did come out really nice as well. That is because I took a little bit more time uh, to actually color grade the video to make it look make the skin colors look really really nice and natural so uh, it is possible to do it on the rp but it takes a lot more work than on the z6 so stabilization the nikon z6 with the five axis in body stabilization versus an rp's ois plus eis i think pretty similar uh, there'll be a draw there uh, dynamic range for some reason in the video if you look at the video where i was filming the em1 camera surprisingly enough in terms of dynamic range the rp looks slightly better than the z6 if you want you can watch back but to me this is how it looks i did review the clips at least 10 times each so dynamic range on the rp for video goes to the rp and the bokeh on the uh, videos as well look better for me on the RP. On the Z6, the bokeh uh, for the videos looked a little bit too much uh, overdone. It looked, everything in the background looked a little bit squishy, mushed up. For the RP, you can actually see uh, what's in the background, but a little bit blurred out, a really nice blur, uh, giving that really nice cinematic look. It's not like smudged out where you, you possibly can't see anything. And then in terms of autofocusing, uh, straight up draw for me uh, for that one. So night pictures, surprisingly enough for the colors, uh, you can take a look, it's very bluish on the Z6. I did take about five to six shots. It always came out that blue. So RP takes the cake for that one. But in terms of if you were to do uh, auto correcting on the RP will look worse uh, because it's really grainy. Uh, in terms of the grain, the noise, the Z6, even if you were to auto uh, color correct it, the Z6 would turn out better. But straight out of the camera, the RP wins for the colors. Uh, dynamic range, of course, goes to the Z6. Like I said, when you uh, correct the colors, the Z6 is actually uh, looks less noisy than the RP. And then we come to night videos. Uh, the colors started off on the Z6 as a little bit bluish, and then it seemed to, uh, I just waited there for a few seconds, then it started to get the correct, very nice bright colors. So I'll give it to the Z6. Dynamic range on the night videos, as you can see, that one definitely goes to the Z6. So that is my conclusion. Uh, I wanna hear what you guys have to say between these two cameras. So overall score, Z6 wins with six points. Second place is draw four points and the RP comes in with three points. Pretty much what I imagine because even in terms of the pricing, the RP uh, versus the Z6, the Z6 does cost double the price of the RP. So I think six points to the Z6, three points to the uh, RP 
definitely times two as well in terms of the pricing is also times two so yeah basically that was it guys hope you enjoyed this video uh if you want to see any comparisons between the cameras that i have uh you can let me know and i'll do a challenge i did do a few, a few challenges as well uh, if you want to see the z6 versus the sony a7 ii with a really expensive two thousand dollar lens uh, you can click the, 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 the this at the top here, the right-hand side of the screen. So thanks guys for watching. Leave some comments. I want to hear what you guys think, whether the, my assessing was uh, good enough. So see you in the next video, guys, and peace.